Hi, this is James from World War II Jeep and Rifle. Today I've got some military field phones from a newer era. These uh, came out in the 80s and were in use well into the 90s. This model is the TA1 and I'm going to talk to you about uh, 10 items, uh, 10 facts about these field phones that make them pretty interesting. The number one most interesting thing about these field phones is that they're voice powered. There are no batteries at all in these in these phones. Um, to accomplish that, the transmission of voice information is and uh, the receiver transmitter and receiver use carbon transducers. That that carbon transducer technology uh, is very old and when was used even back in World War II for uh, the field phones of that day, the double E eights. The carbon transducer works by a, a very fine powder of carbon between two conductive circus, uh, surfaces. <clears throat> has different resistance depending on the pressure that the, the powder is under. So I guess the, the point is, over time, carbon powder can kind of clump up. And if you have a set of these that aren't working too well, you may need to just break up that carbon powder and, so that it functions again. And that's done by, by tapping the elements. And you can get to the, the transmitter and receiver elements just by unscrewing this and take them out and, and gently tap them on a hard surface. That can usually uh, rejuvenate um, a transducer. The number three thing about the TA-1 is that because it is voice powered without any other batteries required, it has a pretty quiet operation. The sound you receive on the other end of the wire is uh, is not loud amplified voice, but it is it's certainly audible up to even a four mile range. That's uh, fact number four. Four mile range using military wire. Two conductors. That's a two wire conductor. And you can see on the end of this cord, um, it's just a kind of a, a push type connection. You just slide your wire in, let go. Two wires connect all your phones together. The number five thing is that as you're connecting these field phones, it is, it is uh, possible to, to daisy chain multiple field phones together. And that might be done uh, for forward uh, points of operation or something like that so that you you can uh, have your, your entire parameter in communication. Number six, uh, to ring the other lines, there's a generator, and the generator is this right-hand button. That, uh, that generator generates an 80-volt um, uh, charge through the through the wires and you can see the call indicator this is uh, another another thing that little window there shows the call indicator and once you push to talk on the receiving end the call indicator goes away and you can communicate uh, with the other party the next thing to know about the TA1 is that the communication is done in half duplex mode Half duplex mode means that you can't both be talking at the same time. You have to alternate, alternately push to talk and, and say what you have to say, then release. And uh, the other party can then push to talk on their side and you can hear their response. That's called half duplex. Um, when, you, uh, when you are doing your, your ringer to ring the other lines... There is a volume on the bottom of each unit, and the volume does not control what you hear in the earpiece. The volume only controls the loudness of the ringer. So I'll show you kind of at, at half volume on the ringer. That's half, louder, loudest. All right, and uh, the final thing to share with you about the TA-1 is that they come with a carrying case. This is a pretty handy carrying case uh, made of 
durable plastic with a carrying strap and you can uh, you can make these quite portable carrying them from from uh, place to place so there you go quick rundown of uh, of a, a really cool piece of military equipment and I hope you guys enjoyed it like the video if you did subscribe share the video with your friends if you think uh, if you think this is cool stuff and we'll keep making more see you later